All right, guys, part two of this week's class plan and next week's, we did the negatives. Now we're going to do the holds on the pull-ups. Set your box up in front or several boxes in front. That way they can get up on top of the bar like this, chin over the bar, and then they're going to let go with their feet. We're trying to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. If they cannot do that, assist them with some bands, okay? Tie your band up here. They can step off into the band and hold it. 10 to 15 seconds. The circuit is gonna be the same one we did last week. For our game conditioning finisher, we're actually gonna test vertical jump this week. When you get the results, you need to send an email to me and Karsten, okay? His email is in the used stuff that I've sent out previously, so you should have his email. Send out the results to me and him after each class. This mat and this thing is in the youth closet. Go get it for each class and put it away after each class. I know it's a pain to walk all the way over there, but this thing's expensive. We cannot leave it out here. We're gonna set it up on a flat surface. Plug the cord into the side. The on button is right here. Flip it to on, and it's gonna rotate through these different things. Jump one time, sprint time, jump four times. Wait till it says jump one time and then select the red box. Then it's ready to go. It says step on mat. So you'll have the athlete step on the mat. As soon as they step on it, as soon as they step on it, it's ready to go. They can jump as high as they can. As soon as they land, it will give them a readout on the monitor. Then you'll have them step off, the next kid will step on, okay? Whenever they are Jumping on this, they cannot lift their knees up in the air and land in a squat because that's going to skew the results. So they can bend down and jump, but when they land, they need to land like this, not like this. Okay, that's it for this week.